eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light We last left our hero. We're in the middle of an exorcism. Otto is currently being choked by the possessed Madame Tilly. You better do something quick. Quickly, ring the bell. You tug frantically on the rope. Gong, gong, gong. Arg my ears, the cursed bell. All right, quickly, hit him with hit him with the pipe. Do not ring that bell again, mortal. I shall have to choice but to destroy you. Tuck finding the rope. Arg my ears a cursed bell. Do we need to ring the bell right now, now worry about something else. What happens if I wait too long? Or I have no choice but destroy you. Here's a cursed bell. All right, might as well just do it. Get get the pipe and hit her with it. All right, this is not personal, then. I'm just it's about the demon. Ah, oh. damn it! Tug frantically on the rope. Arg, my ears are cursed bell. All right, quickly, get the, get the pipe. Slap her with it. It's not personal, madam. You prefer to deliver a swift blow to Madame Tilly's in this section with the pipe. Whoosh! And it exits her mouth into the death dimension. <laughs> Mr. Jordan, you did it. You sent the horror through the portal. 107 out of 107. Yeah, but we're not out of the woods yet. Check and see if Madame Tilly is okay. I had to find out if Alice is still alive. I will meet you downstairs. <gasps> there she is. Alice. Alice, you're okay. But how? Simon, you're alive! It would appear so, yes. I, I don't understand. What happened? Well, after we got separated inside that crazy series of rooms, I got stuck in a ro huge room without doors for some time. I had all but given up and figured I was going to starve to death in there when all of a sudden I found myself outside the house. Just as I happened to be flying out the window. Lucky for Alice, I looked up and saw her falling towards me, and at which I point my reflex kick and I caught her. That's that's amazing. Yeah, but if this experience has taught me anything, it's a, it's amazing things all to be expected when dealing with the paranormal. So, did you get rid of the horror? Yes, but I'll tell you guys all about it later. Right now, all I want to do is get out of this house. I meant to that. 
Fascinating! Absolutely fascinating! Yeah, the past few days have definitely been out of the ordinary. I assume Mr. Miggs is pleased that you rid the house of this ghost? Oh yeah, he was pretty happy about it. He was also pretty happy about all of us surviving, especially after all I told him about all the close calls we had. So, have you got any plans for what you will be doing next? I don't know, I, I was talking to Simon about Alex and the three of us came to a conclusion that we'd like to join up and solve a case together sometime. I intend to take them up on the offer sooner rather than later. I see. Well then, Mr. Jordan, I believe congratulations are in order for another case solved. And I, of course, wish you luck on any future cases you undertake. Thanks uh, for your hospitality and all your help, Professor Jones. I'll be in touch. That's right, Mr. Jordan. You certainly will be. Dun dun dun! Writing art and scripting by Francisco Gonzalez. Music by Andreas Slotte. S L O T T E. Sound effects by Adam Hay. Character Models by Jamie Perdomo and Francisco Gonzalez. Beta Testers Adam Hay, Jacob Hatz, Andrea Slotte, Berian Williams. AGS Engine by Chris Jones. Thank you for playing. Well, thank you for entertaining me and entertaining our YouTube fans, our YouTube uh, subscribers. Oh, <laughs> 